Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a typical group of organisms which are known as the eukaryotes. So let us see the characteristic feature of these eukaryotes and introduce ourselves to this group of organisms called eukaryotes. So eukaryotes, they include the group of organisms like protists, they include plants, animals and also fungi. So these are the group of organisms included in the group of eukaryotes. But here we can see the bacterial group, they are not included because they belong to the group of prokaryotes. Eukaryotes, they have a proper membrane bound organelles. Unlike compared to that of the prokaryotes, they do not have membrane bound organelles. Uh, so they in fact do not have proper organelles other than the ribosomes. But eukaryotes, they have proper well defined membrane bound organelles present inside the eukaryotic cells. They possess well organized nucleus again a very important difference from the prokaryotic cell because we know prokaryotic cells they do not have well defined membrane bound nucleus but eukaryotes they have well organized nucleus within a nuclear membrane which is again not present in case of the prokaryotic cells. They possess com uh, complex locomotory structures structures which help in movement and also complex cytoskeleton structure which give the shape and structure to the cells. The genetic material in case of the prokaryote, in case of the eukaryotes, it is present in the form of chromosomes. Very important, the genetic material in case of the eukaryotic cells are quite larger as compared that to that of the prokaryotes. And these genetic materials, they are organized into proper structures which are known as the chromosomes. Plant cells have got the cell wall. Now these eukaryotes, they can be plants or animals. Animal cells do not have the cell wall. Plant cells have got cell walls. They have got plastids and they have also got a large central vacuole. Now these three uh, features are actually absent in case of the animal cells. Animal cells on the other hand, they have got centrioles which are now absent in the plant cells. What are the function of centrioles? In, during the cell division process, these centrioles, they give rise to spindle fibers which actually help in the separation of the chromosomes during the uh, process of cell division. So in this video, we have seen some of the characteristic features of the group of organisms called the eukaryotes and also we have discussed some of the important differences as that of the uh, prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.